Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today is a day to give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy and do it forever. Many times we are worried about things that's not in our power to change. But today God has put in my heart to offer a prayer in behalf of our nation and our city and our country. And as I was reading this prayer, God reminded me that many times we struggle with trying to overcome obstacle trials and tests because of unbelief. But today we want to break the spirit of the enemy off our minds and off our hearts. We want to stand on the word of God, decree that he is Lord and that he has conquered all of our foes. It doesn't matter what comes against us. He is still has the power to deliver and set the people of God free. Psalms 91 and one says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortune, my God, and him will I trust. That's where our confidence needs to be is in the Lord today that we can overcome anything the enemy brings our way. Many people are fearing and, and running in terror and hiding and buying up everything out of the grocery stores because of, of fear of the COVID-19 coronavirus. The devil is a lie. Jesus has promised us that when we abide in God's security, God's protection, that he will keep us from the noise and pestilence. It says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the father, from the noise and pestilence, verse three. Then he says, verse four, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings that shall thou uh, trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy, thy buckler. God promises that when we trust in him, it doesn't matter what the enemy brings your way. He said, thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by the day nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor of destruction and waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no, but it shall not come nigh thee. God promises that no evil will come near you. He said, Only with your eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high of thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he has given his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, today that we are victorious in Christ Jesus, that we're overcomers. Father, we thank you that we come against the spirit of fear, O God. You have not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Your word says, I am redeemed from the curse through the blood of Jesus Christ, Galatians 3 and 13. I am the seed of Abraham and his blessings is mine, O oh God. We choose blessings instead of curse, cursing and life instead of death today, O oh God. We take the word of God, we break and release from ourselves all generational curses and iniquities as results of sin from my ancestors in the name of Jesus. I break and release from myself all curses on both sides of my family back 60 generations. I break all curse of witchcraft, sorcery, and divination in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all curses of pride and rebellion in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from the curses of death and destruction in the name of Jesus. I break and rebuke all curses of sickness and infirmities in the name of Jesus. I break and release from myself all curses, poverty, lack, and debt in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all curses of rejection in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all curses and double-mindedness and schizophrenia in the name of Jesus. I break and release from myself all curses of Jezebel and Ahab in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all curses of divorce and separation in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all curses of lust and perversion in the name of Jesus. I break and release from myself all curses of confusion and mental illness in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all curses of idolatry in the name of Jesus. I break and release from myself all curses of, of, of accidents and premature death in the name of Jesus. I, I break and release from myself all curses of wandering and a vagabond spirit in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from all spiritual curses spoken uh, through negative words against myself by others or myself and all those in authority and I bless my enemies of God because you said that we are the blessed our enemies are going to pray for them Father that despite them use us you said we have to pray for them that God would bless them and God we bless our enemies today oh God we break and release from ourselves 
all self-inflicted curses by negative words that I have spoken in the name of Jesus. I command every demon hiding and operating behind a curse to come out of my life in the name of Jesus. God, we come to you today to surrender, to yield, and release our hearts to you, God, that you come and flood our hearts with your spirit, God. Allow the blood of Jesus to cleanse, oh God, to deliver us from the snare, the fall of noise and pestilence, from the sickness and diseases that are going on in our land and our country today, oh God. We thank you that we put our trust in you and lean not to our own understanding because, God, we know that you're in control. We know that this is you, God, showing you the magnitude of your grace, even in the midst of the, the COVID-19, God, yet you're still showing yourself as Lord. Father, we come against the spirit of fear, God, because so many people, Father, are, are doubting God. For your Lord, we you said in your word to trust in the Lord with all our heart, lean not to our own understanding. And we come trusting you, God, because you said if we speak, Father God, to the mountains, the mountains will move, oh God. We speak to the mountains of infirmity, the mountains of sickness, the mountains of disease today, oh God. We command it to move by the power of God in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you that we are victorious in Christ Jesus, that we're overcomers. Father God, we're not going to be in fear. We're going to operate in faith and believe, God, that you would keep us from this sickness and disease, oh God. The people who are trusted and know that, God, you said, said be strong in the Lord and do exploits. God, we thank you that you've given us the supernatural power of God, the ability of God to stand against sickness and diseases, God, to speak the word of God against curses and negative words about the Indians brought against our lives. We will not die. But we shall live and declare the work of the Lord. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, because we trust in you. We lean not our own ways, O God, but we give our hearts to you, God, that you will be in control of our lives, our actions, and our thoughts, God. Break the negative mindset. Break the, the bondage off our lives, O God. The strongholds in our minds that cause us, Father God, to not trust you. To cause ourselves to go into hiding, God. To cause ourselves to go into a place, Father God, of desolation. A place, Father, of desperation, God. Bring us to that place where we're desperate for God in the midst of this situation, God. We ask that you will show yourself strong in our behalf, oh God, as we surrender our hearts to you, God. That you give us a new heart. Change the way we think, oh God. Help us to see you at work in this situation. Jesus even declared in your word, God, that these things were going to happen, God, in Matthew, Father God. Your word tells us, oh God, Matthew chapter 24, oh God. You said in your word, Father God, you said, Father, that, and as you hear of rumors, wars and rumors of war, see that it, that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not near yet, oh God. You said, for a nation will rise against nation, the kingdom against kingdoms, and there should be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in direst places. All these things will be the beginning of sorrow. God, this pestilence in our land, oh God, we haven't even tapped into the magnitude of sorrow yet, God. You said this is just a beginning of sorrow. But help us, oh God, to come back to the place of prayer, seeking the face of God in unity, that the people of God will wake up from their spiritual slumber, God, and begin to pray, oh God, in behalf of our nation, our country, and our cities, oh God, and our families, and our communities, that we pray without ceasing for the will of God in Christ Jesus. That souls will be saved, lives will be transformed. That people will make themselves ready for the coming of the King, because you're soon to come, oh God. You said, then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Father, we thank you. As we trust in you, God, let us not wax cold, oh God. But let us stay on fire for Jesus. To declare your word, oh God, uncompromised. To proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. That will be preached upon all the world, oh God. That many will come to you, Father God. And give their lives to you. That you will be glorified. And we thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You be blessed on today. Stand in faith and not in fear. Allow the word of God to empower you to strengthen you, to encourage you, to stand against the wiles of the devil in this season, in this time of our lives, that you will be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In Jesus' name, God bless you.
Amen.